Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I wanted to bring you three crossbody bags that I bought on Amazon um, and kind of give you the pros and cons of each one and my intended use for them so that, that way you know like where I'm coming from on things. But um, so here's the thing. <laughs> I need to catch my breath. I've literally been talking for like three hours straight at this point. So I have three bags. Um, one of them I bought a while ago um, just because I wanted to love a crossbody bag. Like I just wanted to, you know, get it and really enjoy it and be like, oh, this is amazing. Um, and then I didn't love it. Um, so I think actually I'll end up giving this probably to a friend because um, it's just been sitting on my shelf right now with the tag still on it. But um, most recently, though, uh, we are going to be going to the Crosstown Classic in June um, in Chicago, which is uh, White Sox and Cubs at Wrigley Field. Um, so I needed a crossbody bag that I figured I could use, not have to have my hands full, um, and not have to worry about it. Just like wear it and be done with it because the last thing I want to do at a ball game is have to like worry about holding my bag and you know, blah, blah, blah. I want to be knocking them back, not, <laughs> not worrying about where my bag is at. So I got two of them for that reason and I wanted to see like which one I would like better. Um, and then the other one, I'll show you that one first, which I didn't necessarily get for the game because I got this a few months ago. But I got it just because I thought I would love it and then I didn't. So I want to show you all of them and I'll show you all of them on so that you can kind of see um, how they look on me. I'm five foot three in case you're wondering. And um, as far as like size, um, I'm roughly like a 20, 22, depending on um, brand. So <laughs> let me get into this. And I will say all of these are under around $25. Um, two of them are under 20 though. And um, what else? Oh, the big thing, the main thing. <laughs> I forgot. This is why I'm doing this video. Wow. <laughs> I'm just not all here right now because I have been filming for so long at this point. But the main thing why I'm doing this is because finding a cross body bag whenever you are fat or plus size, whatever you want to say, is not easy because a lot of the times the crossbody strap is not as long as it needs to be. You know, you really don't want a crossbody that's going to be like sitting up under your boob. That's just not the most flattering place for it to be. But some crossbodies are just made for thin people. <laughs> and that's fine, but you have to do some digging to find, you know, the one that's going to work for you. What did I do with that strap? I thought it was here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay. So if you are plus size, you know, or, you know, maybe you have like um, a longer torso or something like that where you would need a longer strap, that's what this is for. But also if you're thinner, you know, or whatever, um, most of these straps are adjustable. So you can bring them up to a smaller size, but if you do need a longer strap, these will show you the longer strap. So first up is the one that I did not like. Um, and I'll also, let me move over a little. I'll put some try on things right here so that you can see what these look like on. This is the one that I did not like. It is from Love Vuk. Love Vuk. Um, it looks like this. I thought whenever I first saw it, I was like, oh, that's super cute. Um, and it's a little bit kind of like wider and then goes up to a, you know, smaller at the top. Um, the strap does not come off. It does have like an adjustable buckle strap on it though. But my problem with this is the bulk of it. It's far too bulky for what I wanted. Like I feel like this type of bag, whenever you already are carrying extra weight, it just does not look good to have a bag like coming off of your body so far. Um, so I feel like this taught me that for me, a crossbody needs to be more of a flat style of bag um, because it's just more flattering on my shape and my size. 
Um, so for that reason, I didn't like it, but also the strap was not quite as long as I needed it to be. Um, the strap on this one at the longest has a 23 inch drop. And I just found that for me, I really need like somewhere in like the 25, 27 range for it to hit where I want it to hit. So, um, I just ended up not liking it for that. This was around $26. I know on Amazon prices can fluctuate, but if you are interested in this, um, it does have a front pocket here. It has an open, you know, thing here with a couple slip pockets and then a zipper pocket. And then it has a zipper pocket on the back. Now the problem for me also is that even if I wanted to just wear this as a regular bag, I couldn't stand how rigid it was. Like this is very like, it's a rigid bag. You know, I thought it would be a little bit more structured, but still kind of soft, you know, and this is very hard. I just, I didn't love the feel of it. It feels kind of, it's not real leather and it feels like not real leather. I just, I didn't love it. Um, but I know that for some people, this would be a style that you may really like. Um, so there's an option for you. Probably not the best option though for a plus size body. Next up are the two that I decided to try for the game. Um, and the first one I decided not to go with for that purpose. Um, just because it turned out to be a little bit smaller than I thought that it would be. However, I'll still keep it because it's really cute and I feel like I could definitely use it, um, in other instances but this is what it is cute little like you know zippery pouch it is from fashion puzzle and it was around $15 um, it comes in 28 different colors so if you don't like black there is a million other colors for you to choose from this one also came in four other colors by the way <laughs> so this one has a zipper pocket on the back it has two zipper pockets on the front it has a little open you know compartment here and then a zipper pocket on the back so there's like four different zippered compartments and then your main compartment um, it has you know little straps here and it is fully adjustable so at the longest this has a 27 inch drop which makes it about um, what 54 inches yeah 54 inches long the strap um, and I felt like this hit at a pretty decent spot. Um, if anything, it may be a little bit longer than I would want. So then I could raise it up a little bit. Um, but I would prefer it to be a little bit longer than too short. Um, this does feel pretty nice. It's not real leather, but it feels better than the other one. I like that it's, you know, malleable. It's not too stiff and it's very thin. Basically, all I want to do is just take my phone, lip balm, you know, um, car keys and that's it. <laughs> I don't really want to carry a lot with me. So this would be perfect for it. But I felt like, um, if I need to hold anything else for us, like if I need to hold my husband's wallet or anything while we're there, like it's a little bit small for that purpose. So I'm not going to use this one for the game, but I do like it. And I do recommend it if you're looking for just a cute little crossbody bag. Oh, and it also, if you didn't want to use it with the long strap, it does have a wristlet strap that you could use it with as well. And now the third one, the last one that I am going to use for the game, I'm pretty sure, unless I find another one that I like, is this one from B. Bretano. Um, I feel like I've seen that brand before, but maybe just on Amazon. I feel like I've seen it somewhere else though. I'm just, I don't know. But it, on the inside, it has two slip pockets here, a zipper pocket, has a zipper pocket on the front and a zipper pocket on the back. And also what I really like about it is that the strap is part chain and part like faux leather. <laughs> so I like that you have kind of a little, you know, fashion moment here. It looks a little bit nicer than just a plain um, strap. This was about $18 and it does come in 22 colors. So again, with this one, a ton of colors, if you want to get something, you know, kind of different. I like how this is longer than it is wide, whereas this one is wider than it is long. I feel like for my body shape, my body type, my height and everything, this one was just a little bit more flattering on me. Um, it is still quite thin. But I do like how the bottom has a little bit of a wider bottom um, so you can kind of like 
fit a little bit more stuff in there. I could definitely fit anything that I could possibly need to in here. Um, and I just like the way that it looks. I could totally see myself using this more than just at the game. So, and it also has an adjustable strap. I think it adjusts like five different holes. And then as with these, you could always just make new holes if you need to. Um, but there those are. This is the one that I'm going to go with um, for the game unless I find something else, but I'm really liking it. And you know what? This feels the closest to real leather, even though I'm pretty sure it's not. I think it said vegan. Um, so feels the nicest. I feel like the style is the nicest. And this is the one that I would recommend if you are plus size and in need of a good crossbody bag that doesn't have to carry too much stuff. Or if you are thinner, you know, still a good bag, you know, and you can adjust it, the strap as much as you want. So whew, there you go. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you next time. Bye.